Hello everyone. Uh, so in today's session of Thought Food Leaders, uh, we have Professor uh, Sandeep Kale sir uh, from Dhole Patil College of Engineering. We I would heartily welcome you on our College Junior platform, sir. Thank you for joining with us and giving us your precious time. Sir, with your permission, shall we begin with the questions? Uh, yes, sir. No problem. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, my first question is: What is the latest program that you are offering in your institute? Which will help the students out outperform and stand apart from the crowd. Okay, so as our uh, motto is "You dream, we educate." So we are hundred percent following our motto, and uh, the vision of Department of First Year Engineering, being first year HOD or in charge, to achieve creative excellence in the field of uh, technical education at the highest global standards. So uh, we are affiliated to University of Pune. DT and MSBT. Okay, so up, uh, along with the curriculum offered by University of Pune, we are offering uh, different courses. Those which are not offered to first-year engineering students. So latest programs uh, we are offering to our students in first year itself are science park visit, industry visits, and COEP visit. COEP that is College of Engineering Pune. So under AICT Mark Darshan scheme, uh, we are being mentee institute to COEP. College of Engineering Pune is our mentor institute, and in that particular uh, MOU, we can visit the laboratories. We can avail the library facility of College of Engineering Pune. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, moving on to the next question, uh, what are the factors that make this program the best for the students to opt? Okay, so as we have mentioned, creative excellence word. So we believe in participative learning and experiential learning. We encourage our students to participate in various uh, seminars, various uh, project competitions. In first year engineering, <coughs> we cannot. means uh, as per the syllabus or as per the curriculum which is uh, been designed by university of pune it is not at all mentioned in the first year engineering syllabus that you have to uh, visit any industry or visit any uh, uh, laboratories or uh, to build a project or uh, like that but still as a engineering institute in first year itself we are providing uh, our students Uh, various facilities so that they can uh, experimentally learn the things means theoretical teaching academics is different and experiential learning when they experience uh, any concept practically then the concept will be uh, remain in their mind for uh, long life okay so we believe in uh, participative learning and experiential learning concepts and we are uh having so many models uh, so many things which we are already doing in our department okay uh, sir moving on to the next question what will you say the best practices in the courses you are offering okay so as a part of uh, best practice uh, we have two different things number one is teacher guardian scheme so this teacher guardian scheme is uh, designed by our honorable chairman sri sagar dhole patil sir uh, under his able leadership every 20 15 to 20 students are allotted with one teacher guardian who will look after uh, all their problems uh, right from academics financial issues and other personal problems medical issues so all these problems are handled tackled uh, by the teacher guardian uh, uh, allotted to particular batch and this teacher guardian will be there with those 15 to 20 students group for uh, four years means right from first year to final year of engineering second activity is departs that is dhole patil all round development scheme so under this scheme yen number of uh, sub activities we plan we run okay and we uh, already we are running it we have executed it and uh, we can see uh, the benefits of these departs that is dole patil all round development schemes in various aspects so under this departs scheme uh, the attention is to 
uh, overall development of the personality of the students right from his communication skills uh, right from his presentation skills uh, right from his uh, uh, sport skills okay so of the field and on the field so both uh, things are covered under d parts okay uh, sir uh, what are some of the valuable insights of the program that you are offering at your institute okay so uh, see as we are offering uh, these project based learning experiential learning uh, concepts uh, we not compulsory but willingly allow our students to participate in various project competitions uh, not in our college only but in other institutes at state level and national level so uh, students are participating in various workshops and seminars they have won uh, many prizes uh, in state level and national level workshops and seminars uh, in uh, first year itself so though the competitions are organized for third year and final year students our first year engineering students have proved themselves to be uh, the best and uh, they have won uh, many prizes in various uh, uh, workshops and seminars and we can say these are valuable insights of our uh, program okay uh, sir tell me how does uh... the program ensures that the students are being prepared for the future okay so along with the uh, project based learning and uh, uh, this departs scheme uh, we are also offering uh, various nptel courses and uh, spoken tutorial courses so nptel is a platform uh, designed and developed by uh, iits and spoken tutorial is a special chapter uh, designed by iit mumbai so we are having tie up with iit mumbai and we are having our own uh, college nptel chapter under which our students uh, all disciplines right from first year to final year uh, they are doing different courses right from personality development communication skills and uh, various technical courses related to their disciplines uh, with the help of nptel and spoken tutorial so as far as the first year department is concerned uh, we have offered uh, the python learning course for our first year engineering students via uh, iit mumbai spoken tutorial and uh, different uh, nptel courses uh, which are based on the communication skills and uh, personality development so these uh, with the help of these courses uh, as you know the era is of uh, data science machine learning right so uh, this python language will be helpful to, uh, helpful to our students in future and uh, uh, personality development and communication skill will uh, definitely develop their personality for future engineers okay uh, sir tell me how do you train your sir and your faculty members to deliver this program to the students okay so as far as the faculty member is concerned uh, at the time of recruitment only we recruit uh, the well qualified staff well experienced uh, staff and if you see the faculty retention ratio so almost means uh, i am working in this institute since last 10 years i have completed 10 years uh, of happy service in this institute and uh, uh, me along with my uh, colleagues means the faculty retention ratio is really very good uh, during at the time of recruitment only we uh, recruit uh, the eligible faculties those who have completed their masters uh, net set and those uh, few faculties are phd pursuing and every year we do conduct fdps that is faculty development programs and uh, our faculty members are also presenting their uh, research work papers in various uh, renowned uh, journals and uh, pay, uh, seminars okay uh, sir how do you tend to build an industry connect with this program okay so uh, we uh, along with nptel and iit spoken tutorial Uh, we also have uh, our inter shala uh, student chapter at uh, dps uh, dpcoe so uh, in this inter shala chapter uh, various internships are offered uh, offline online paid unpaid all types are, uh, of internships are offered to students so near about uh, uh, 200 uh, more than 175 students uh, uh, do uh, did their internships in uh, in between the uh, Uh, semesters means uh, when they are having their uh, holidays so at that particular time uh, students are doing internships for one week two week or uh, four weeks etc so we do have that inter shala chapter with us and uh, students are availing benefit of uh, the inter shala uh, practice 
and uh, while doing internships uh, they will definitely come to know the culture of working in the industry and they will be familiar with the industry and this will definitely uh, help them uh, to find their uh, 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 dream job in future that's a great insight sir and that's a great initiative building connects with the industry which will help students uh, to get a practical knowledge of the industry itself um, yes, sir yes. moving on to the next question uh, what were the challenges that you have faced while inculcating this program in the your curriculum okay the main uh, challenge is uh, first of all time management see because uh, the syllabus given by uh, uh, university is very vast and uh, we are uh, means bound to university syllabus we need to complete that academic uh, syllabus first then there are different uh, examination schedules are there so uh, in between means by keeping all these things in mind we need to prepare our schedule we need to plan our academics we need to plan our uh, complete semester or complete year and along with these academic activities uh, we do plan other activities parallelly and uh, this is somewhat a challenging task for us but uh, our staff members are doing it happily sir uh, means we are uh, uh, doing these activities since uh, more than 7 to 8 years that departs activity then tg activities and then uh, nptl and intern shala activities so all these activities parallelly uh, we are running in our department along with the academics without disturbing our academics okay sir sir um, what are the different types of project that the students are working on through this program okay so for this academic year 2020 21 uh, university uh, uh, mentioned one particular subject that is project based learning in uh, their curriculum but before this since two years ago we have started the project based learning in our department first year department so for uh, a group of uh, four to five students every year we assign one project the project let it be a mini project but it will be based on the theoretical concepts uh, whichever the subjects they are studying in their first year engineering that is physics maths chemistry basic electrical engineering basic electronics engineering systems and mechanical engineering or engineering graphics so uh, students have to choose any one topic related to any subject or any concept and they need to uh, uh, means complete the project report along with physical model of that project so this is a very uh, fruitful task uh, which we are doing since 3 uh, to 4 years and uh, we have seen uh, very positive results means the positive involvement of our students in this uh, project based learning activity and uh, uh, finally last year university uh, included this particular syllabus uh, in their curriculum that is project based learning this particular subject is included in their uh, curriculum by university okay sir so moving on to the last question of the day uh, what are the benefits and career option after pursuing this course okay so after uh, first year engineering uh, students are uh, means uh, sent to second year or uh, their uh, particular disciplines or departments and uh, after four year of uh, their engineering career uh, they are definitely industry ready because see if you see uh, the overall uh, planning and uh, uh, the management of various activities uh, for overall development of the students so definitely uh, they means right from first year to final year if they complete this with full energy full force they are all round developed students and future ready engineers no doubt okay sir sir uh, that's all for the uh, day uh, thank you for joining with us thank you for sharing your precious time with us and i must say that we have got a great insights about the course of dole patel college of engineering and i hope that is the students who will be viewing this video in future will get a ample amount of information about this course and also about dole patel college of engineering thank you for joining with us sir have a great day thank you sir